I'm Annie Blanco for KPOW TV. Well, I'm reporting on the latest trend to sweep the country. According to the book Late Bloomers for Dummies, a late bloomer is someone who matures late in life. <laughs> or at least tries to. Well, back to serious reporting. Such is the case with our featured cast of so-called characters that we recently found. Four high school friends just became 40 years old and are starting a new life. People say that 40 is the new 20. They recently relocated to Los Angeles from New York and are starting all over again. Their mission to conquer Hollywood. Will it be a dream come true or their worst nightmare? You decide. Let's take a closer look. Meet Harry Cohen. He's a Jewish mama's boy. Hi, Mom. Can you get good bagels there? He's become a lawyer to please his parents. But he never won a case. He wants to become a big Hollywood movie star. He loves Star Trek. And he wants to meet William Shatner. Next, let's meet Marcelo Sosa. He loves comic books. He's a veterinarian by trade, but he wants to become a plastic surgeon. And work on some of those great, big, fucking, just breasts. Next, we meet Gary Grimworth, a postman by trade, religious. Thank you, Jesus, for letting me transfer clear across the country to be with my friends. He wants to become a rock star and loves to smoke grass. He also wants to meet his daughter that he never knew he had by a one-night stand years ago. Finally, we meet Tom Kuprick, a pretentious aspiring screenwriter. Spielberg, look out who also works as a school teacher. The boys love to hang out at Rabano's, a New York pizza joint in the heart of Los Angeles. Khan is the owner who wants to help the boys. Khan! <laughs> I've been dying to do that. Pay up, Tom. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday. Yeah, heard that before. Star Trek geek, you're embarrassing my customers. This is Nick Mahollin, a sleazy, phony producer who supports himself working as a female hustler to make ends meet. Can you get us into a web series? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I know so. One week later, producer Nick Mahollin meditates in the Hollywood Hills and tries to connect with the entertainment gods for inspiration on how he's going to get a web series for the boys. A flash of inspiration he finally connects. I've got this. This will put me on the map. You know, we stepped into shit when we met Nick at Robano's. That's our lucky joint. First the web series, then a reality TV show, and fame and fortune are gonna follow. Then my mother can say, I am somebody. Yeah, yeah, fame and fortune. I don't trust them. Seems a bit phony to me, really. <laughs> Marcella, Marcella, you're someone who injects phony junk into women's breath. <laughs> Correct, on Mr. Bond. He no license yet. He only plastic surgeon apprentice. <laughs> he only gets to watch, not touch the boobs. You know, this is bullshit. I not only get to touch them, I get to set them. Tell me, when was the last time you touched the breast, huh? Like this, like this. <laughs> when his mother was breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Harry. Have you even thought this out? If we get a web series, our personal lives are going to be all over the internet. My praying to the Lord, my drinking, doing crazy shit at the post office, and Tom here, he's going to get arrested for sure for all the crazy stuff he does. I'm not in. This could get dangerous and more trouble than it's worth. We're going to get crazy chicks following us and guys following us and all that. Forget it. I'm out. I want to have crazy chicks following me. I get lonely. You know what? You know, I swear to God, you guys are pathetic. I gotta change his mind. Marcelo, come on, man. Hey, Marcelo. Hey. Boy, who took a shit in Marcelo's cornflakes this morning? No. Wish it was me. Marcelo, 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 hold up. Marcelo, come on, Marcelo, please, look, don't desert me, okay? Tom and Gary, they're gonna drive me crazy, okay? This web series, it's gonna be fun. It's how shot, man, like Rocky, you know, come on. Marcelo. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll think about it. But right now, I gotta go to work. Marcelo. Hey, guys. You're about to get fantastic media attention. Bye.
Captain's log. Following the advice of producer Nick Mahalland, we have set up a tent in the middle of Century City with a hunger strike theme. Our mission to get media attention at any cost. In short, we are starving for our dreams. Oh man, it's so hot in here. Ugh. Ugh. Time to refill the piss bucket. Ugh. What a way to spend our vacation days. On TV, Hollywood's not like this. What happened to the red carpet? Shrimp, fancy dinners, and all the sexed up girls. The ends will justify the means. Oh, up yours, all right? Nick said the media was coming soon. Doesn't anyone care if we starve? Uh, I smell food. Yeah. I smell Chinese food. So why did I agree to do this? The only way the press is gonna come is if they find us four dummies dead. I think Nick is trying to kill us. Yeah. Do you hear something? What does Hollywood have in store for our Fab Four? God only knows. Late bloomers, when growing up, can take a lifetime. For KPOW TV, I'm Annie Blanco. Episode? Episode? The new Star Trek or the old? There's like three oh, well, or four different versions. Let's do the, the original? Yeah, the vintage. My mom made the shirt. Anyway, um, my favorite episode, I would say, is probably The Gangsters of Triskelion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I understand you like the Flintstones, you know? And if you had to have sex with uh, Grandma or Betty, who would you choose and why? <laughs> um, I'd say Betty. Yeah? Yeah, because. Uh, I don't know, she always struck me as a little bit of a whore, you know? <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Fred! <laughs> Last night I made my bedrock! <laughs> what are your influences? Oh, well, there are several, but when I was about six years old, I first got very interested in the German expressionistic cinema of the 1920s and 30s. You know, things like uh, Peter Lorre and M, uh, Fritz Lang, uh, Metropolis, uh, The Cabinet of Dr. I Caligari. Love the oh, and uh, one of my favorites, Der Spieler, The Gambler, uh, Dr. Mabuza, Der Spieler. Yeah, that was great. What's your favorite The Beatles. They suck. The Beatles suck. If the Beatles went to like Mars, okay, aliens would have a billion freaking aliens on the planet listening to the Beatles. Turn off the camera. Just turn off the camera. The, the woman, just turn off the camera. I gotta go. I gotta go. Ah! Oh,